channel and another vlog make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos all right you guys we are gearing up it's almost Christmas um, and I'm getting myself together we're just gonna do a quick and easy spend the day with me vlog I'm gonna be mostly around the house doing getting my home prepared my mom is visiting in a few days um, and also just getting everything ready for the holidays Today I'm having a little work slash self care day. I'm gonna have to film some reels and such. So yeah, just an everyday vlog with me. You know, we're gonna connect, it's been a while. Um, mostly I have been hibernating since Art Basel. I was extremely tired after. Um, I've been having a hard time like waking up lately. Um, I do go to bed fairly late, usually around 1 a.m. But normally I'm able to pop up at 6.30, do a workout, and like have a whole life before 10 a.m. And lately I need eight hours, and a solid eight. Um, so I don't know if it's just me or the time changing that's kind of affected me. And also the weather has been like super rainy every day here in Miami. Your girl needs some vitamin D. I need some sun. Anywho. I'm going out to get my nails done today too, so I'll take you guys with me. But I wanted to pop on with only half of my makeup done because I'm doing like a, a 2023 favorites over on my Instagram. Usually I do a YouTube video, but I find that it would be better like broken up into sections in reels. So if you want to see all of my 2023 favorites, my favorite handbags that I wore the most of the year, my favorite brands that I wore the most of 2023, my favorite dresses, my favorite denim, my favorite shoes, head on over to my Instagram at Monroe Steel, give your girl a follow and head over to my reels because I'll be doing a different reel of my favorites of 2023 every day until the end of the year, until December 31st. And one of my favorite things is this y'all this is the beauty counter skin twin featherweight foundation and it is my new favorite foundation i used to just use um what is it tinted moisturizer from beauty counter as well but i'm loving the skin twin so i don't know if you can tell but only one side of my face has makeup on can you guess which side yeah you see it i mean it still gives skin over here but like Ugh. the coverage on this you can build it but it just blends in with your skin and I have kind of a yellow undertone so I wear a color 550 but if you're looking for a new foundation that looks like skin but perfect it definitely try beauty counter I'll link it down below and I also got some new brushes in from Sephora can you guys see this is a new um, I got the 70 brush which is good for medium to full coverage but one of my favorite things beauty counter y'all see it y'all see the difference i'll link it down below um and they often have sales so i stocked up when they had a sale recently for the holidays and bought like two or three of these one in a slightly darker and one in a slightly uh lighter for when I'm in New York and your girl don't get no sun and she just be super light. And then for when it's <laughs> hot here in Miami and I do a bike ride um, and then I'm one shade darker. So yeah, the price on them is really good. So what we're starting off with today, I'm gonna do some reels. I wanna do my favorite like, how, like house dresses and loungewear reels. I get asked the most about <laughs> my loungewear. Um, because I live in my loungewear. When I'm at home, I don't have on clothes. I have on a house dress or a robe or a, a fluffy set from Amazon or something like that. Like when I'm at home, I just want to be comfortable. I don't get dressed to work. <laughs> this is my definition of getting dressed. I'm only putting on clothes if I'm leaving the house, y'all. And yeah, I get asked so much about my house dresses, especially when I start in a house dress before I start a reel. So we're gonna do that. I'll show you guys the behind the scenes of putting that reel together. 
and then i want to do my most worn dress brand of 2023 which is jean paul gaultier i wore more jean paul gaultier in 2023 than any other brand as far as dresses are concerned um this year so we're gonna make those two reels and then we're gonna go get our nails done because we need a little self-care darling so i'll finish up my makeup by the way loving these little clips to clip my hair back so that like makeup doesn't get into my braids which tends to happen so i do have to clean my braids with a little cleaning wipe especially the ones in the front because they like get makeup on them anywho i'm gonna finish this up and then i'll check back in when my makeup is done and we're about to film some reels oh i do want to show you guys um a, an unboxing i got from a brand today as well so yeah should be a super chill vlog get your coffee your tea your wine your snacks we're gonna have a day together just me and you all right guys just pretty much finished off my makeup i'm gonna spray a little bit of the caudily grape water i have been loving face mist um and this one is my favorite because it doesn't really have a smell but it does like soothe and moisturize and your girl does have the most sensitive skin it's also great for kind of setting the makeup I also love how it comes out it's a super fine mist so you don't feel like wet after and that you have to like let your makeup like dry if that makes any sense but anywho if you're looking for a good just like spray definitely try this one it doesn't have much of a smell it feels super moisturizing and just makes your makeup glow gonna finish off with a little lip glow oil from Dior you guys know this is my favorite I've actually been liking mixing this with the road strawberry lip gloss and uh, you can use my code Monroe 23 all capital letters for a free gift with purchase at Dior with a purchase over $125 or more Uh, it's it's my favorite but if I do want like a little bit of an extra like juicy lip like you see how this looks it looks super like natural and just nice but when I want it to look super juicy I'll put a little bit of the road peptide lip treatment and strawberry on top and that almost gives it like a wet look Mm, I love that combo and this to actually tastes good it does taste a little bit like strawberries so one of my favorites the road I'll link this down below as long as well as the Dior and any of my items I use for my makeup which is just super like natural today yeah all right you guys let's get started with getting some work done i have about two hours to shoot this stuff before i need to head to my nail appointment so let's get into it so i'm starting with a reel of my favorite handbags of 2023 um of course my bottega jody is going to be in there because this is like my everyday bag like if i'm running errands or anything really i'm probably gonna grab this bag because it's so big I can fit everything in it but it still looks chic because of that like slouchy feel because of the quality of the leather of Bottega and that cool little knot again I also have this in white this was my first one and I actually picked this up at um what was it what goes around comes around no the real real in New York City the actual store and I wore that one so much I thought the black would be great but the black is definitely my most worn yeah definitely gonna include my denim louis i didn't wear this a lot but i really love this bag <laughs> it's one of my favorites and of course the jacquemus this was the the it girl this was the it bag of like 2023 everybody was trying to get their hands on this bag i did manage to find a few on like the pre-loved market um, so I'll link it down below, but I did hear that like uh, Jacquemus was going to re-release this bag only on the website. So maybe check over there too. But 
one of my favorites of 2023. This is a new purchase of 2023 and one of my favorites. You guys know Loewe no longer makes this form of the puzzle bag. And so I've always wanted this watermelon one and I found this on Vestier Collective, which is another like pre-loved market that I love shopping on and they do authenticate. So yeah, this is gonna be included in the reel. Uh, probably my Ferragamo bag too. I picked this up in Paris during Paris Fashion Week last year. Um, and I just love it because everyone needs a red bag. I will say, that this bag is it's hell to get into and out of like this little clasp i think is faulty it's just really weird the hook and sometimes it just doesn't want to open um but i heard that that was like a manufacturing problem with the newer the older the first versions of this bag and i'm pretty sure this is like the first bag from that collection um that i bought in paris at it was either Printon or galleries lafayette but yeah, definitely want to put this in there. Um, my Chanel sandbag, of course, one of my most worn bags of all time because she goes with everything. There's sand in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There is sand in there. Now this bag also comes with a pearl handle. And y'all know I am AKA and I love a good pearl, but the pearls are white and <sighs> Yeah, I prefer the bag without the pearls, but I'm seeing a bunch of these on a pre-love market now. Um, and the price is actually fairly good. And um, I'll link a few down below from like Rebag and Fashion File that I managed to find online. And then, of course, we have my Chanel Classic Flat Denim. Did I get this this year or last year? I can't remember. I feel like I got this last year from What Goes Round Comes Around and i mean she's a classic this bag is if i wanted to resell this bag right now i could get double what i paid for it because the value of this because it's denim is just like wow i'm never gonna sell it though like i'm gonna have it forever so those are just a few of the bags i'm gonna include in my reel um i'll go ahead and pop that reel up so you guys can quickly take a look and then we'll get back here and we'll do my house dresses yeah enjoy all right you guys so i hope you enjoyed that reel i have linked all of those bags down below most of them are actually still available even the vintage ones um, so I'll link anywhere I can find, I think it was 15 bags that I included in that reel uh, down below if you're looking for a new bag. Um, let's see, let me go through my fragrances, like my favorite fragrances because I am going to do a reel on that too. And you guys probably already know what they are because I show them to you in almost every video. So here we have my little fragrance holder and I got this from Essence. It does swivel, which is like really cool, but I usually put on the top here, my main fragrances that I wear daily, and then on the bottom, just my other ones. So for 2023, the ones that I absolutely <laughs> wore the most were Baccarat Rouge 540 from uh, Maison Francis Kurt Dijon. This is very expensive, but it smells so good. It smells like rich. It smells a little bit sweet, mysterious. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Next up is Cartier Basé Voile. Sorry if I butchered that. Any like French speaking peeps out there. And I picked this up in uh, Paris from Cartier. This was like $140. Um, and it just, it smells like clean and fresh. It smells like quiet luxury. Like if quiet luxury had a smell, this would be the smell. And I love how it's almost like a lighter top. You know, you kind of just flick it open. That's another favorite. Another one is an artisanal uh, perfume from um, Lake and Sky. This is 1111. And I recently got this from the brand and you can see I've already like worn it so much. Um, this is one of my favorite fragrances. It's 
more of a light fresh fragrance and i don't have many fresh fragrances most of my fragrances are woody like gourmands very like deep sensual warm almost masculine scents this one although this can be unisex this smells like the sea the ocean just it smells like knowledge like earth but very very light with staying power and i love like the aesthetics of it as well uh what else have i been wearing a lot the aqua media by maison francis they sent me this actually and you can see i've had this uh this year i got it and you can see how much i wear it again this is another like fresh fragrance and i don't i don't know why i'm getting more into fresh scents but i guess it's just the process of my palette changing and me getting older and also me living in a climate where it's always warm sometimes you don't want a super heavy fragrance sometimes you just want something light and airy and this is definitely light and airy with almost like a lemony scent not lemon but mint like a minty fresh i really like this fragrance this is one of my favorites i really like this um what else did i wear a lot i also wore molecule 01 eccentric molecule this is actually a molecule created by like scientists um this is they don't even refer to it as like a perfume but it smells there's it's it's not it smells good it smells almost like a well-dressed man but i find that this works well with super feminine fragrances to like give some depth to it without overpowering it you can wear it alone i ran into a girl at a party who had this on in fact i didn't know who had it on someone walked past me and i literally spent the rest of the party sniffing people until i found her and she told me about this and i've been hooked ever since um it's fairly affordable too so i'll link it down below eccentric molecule zero one smells you very unique like not a lot of people know about this fragrance and not, not a lot of people wear it so that's why i like it a lot and then we have burberry goddess which i literally just got maybe like a month or two ago and you can already see how much i've worn it i did a collaboration with them and i love burberry first off but this is so it's it's sweet there's three different kinds of vanilla in this and kind of a gourmand like woody and it just smells uh, delicious like if you want to smell like edible this is the one and the staying power on this is very good as well and uh, the price on it is pretty good too let's see is that it are those my most worn i would have to say they are let's see let's see oh i also wore a fair amount of tay noir lalabo smells super mysterious like an earth goddess that just has the answers to everything um and knows and can like sniff out you know anything happening wrong like she just knows everything about life she's a woman you want to know and you want to follow like oh we love the lava so i think that's one two three four five six seven of my most worn fragrances of 2023 um i'll link them below i'm gonna keep these out because i am gonna make a fragrance reel as well um but for now i'm gonna go ahead and set everything up and film my uh like house dress loungewear real um and once i'm done i will pop that up for you guys to check out as well as the perfume one i might as well do that one now too all right you guys so i have my little setup here i have my tripod i have my little phone clip and then i have my phone on here and i just outline it to where i want shown in the reel um and i always put it on 4k 60 because that's the best quality um yeah that looks fairly good and we're gonna get started with the house dresses first. All right, guys. 
guys all finished filming um i was able to film just one reel um uh, but i would have already shown you all of the rest i want to wait till i get my nails done before i film the one for perfumes so yeah got myself together I'm wearing the Paradise Hoop earrings from my collection with Hoop Mob. By the way, shout out to everyone who shopped my Hoop Mob collaboration. Um, you guys sold out a ton of the products in like less than a day. Um, I do believe these are still available and they also come in silver. And they're just really minimal and cool. So I love these for like an everyday look. Um, these are the Paradise Hoops. And I went with an all black look today because it is so, if you guys could see outside, it's so dreary, rainy, and windy today that I'm not even going to bother. Um, I put on this top from Dion Lee. It is like a little bustier top. It's like a little bustier t-shirt. It's really cool. Um, I've had it for quite some time, but I don't wear it that often. And then for the skirt, I put on my local European black uh, cargo skirt. And then just popped on my Fendi slides because uh, we're going to get my toes done today as well. So yeah, that is today's look. Today's fragrance is Aqua Media. I feel like since it's so dreary <laughs> and ugly outside, I would go with something fresh, like a, just a beautiful sky blue, sun is shining, palm trees glistening in the wind. Uh, fragrance today and that's aqua media and yeah that's it i'm gonna take my bottega jody in black and that's gonna be the look today to go get my nails done i always go to the same place it is henna international nail and spa and how i found them was on class pass um class pass has a ton of like health beauty fitness places on their app that you can find like classes and places to get your hair done and nails done and get massages and take pilates pilates classes and any kind of like fitness things in your area so if you're new to a place or you just don't really know where to go definitely download class pass and it will literally show you everything in your neighborhood that's how i found my my massage place my nail place um where i want to go if i want to do bar classes and things like that so i've been going to get my nails done there for as long as i've lived in miami and they are amazing i usually get just a regular mani pedi sometimes i get gel on my nails they're super thorough and just super sweet every time i go i, I either leave drunk because <laughs> they will like look they be offering you champagne and stuff and i mean you can't say no but lately i've just been taking a green tea because i'm on my health kick um but yeah i'm gonna go i'll show you the polish i use because i get asked that a lot um let me show you the full look and then we are out of here because my appointment is in 30 minutes all right guys so here is the nail polish i use it's from opi it is called passion and this also comes in gel um i love the color because it's super natural but still has like a glossy pink look which i really like because when my nails start to chip you can't see it as much okay guys so i'm just waiting on my uber um but i also packed my sd card reader this if you are any kind of content creator you need this um you just plug it into your phone and it uploads the photos straight from the sd card to your phone uh so yeah i have some content on here that i want to pull off from when Maria and I shot just like some organic content in the last vlog. I want to upload that to my phone so I can edit those things while they do my pedicure. Um, that's usually when I get a lot of work done when they're doing my pedicure because it usually takes about 45, 40 minutes. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. A little bit of work. I'm also going to grab my headphones so that I'm not disturbing other people uh and i'll probably just take my um airpod um my air max to should i take my air max or should i just take my airpods i'm not sure if they're actually charged so we'll just go with these because i know these are charged like 50 percent and then i'm gonna pop some hand sanitizer this is from uh sephora this is my favorite hand sanitizer from touchland 
uh, because y'all the vid has been going back around again and that's why I've kind of been in the house because I'm not trying to be sick <laughs> for Christmas or New Year's so yeah I'm taking a chance by going to get my nails done but I'm gonna make sure I don't touch nothing okay except for the person touching me and after she finished touching me I'm gonna wash my hands I'm gonna touch the door so I can get out I'm gonna touch the handle of the uber so I can get in and back out and I'm gonna come in and immediately wash my hands I mean, I'll do that anyway because I'm kind of OCD, but I have to remember that after touching anything, I got to wash my hands. So we back on that. Uh, my Uber's here. I think I'm going to stop into Joe and the Juice because there's one right next door to my nail place. And I want to get like a smoothie um, and maybe some kind of delicious treat because your girl needs a snack. And then we'll go and get my nails done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking a little nuts, but I'm about to head inside this CVS Because I need to pick up some NYX uh, Brow pencils I already went through the last two that I bought and I can only ever find them at like CVS for some reason So let's head in here check out the cosmetic section and pick those up and then I think I'm just gonna uber home from getting my nails done they came out really nicely again I will put the polish down below it's called passion and then I popped them into CVS because it's right next door to my nail salon and I'll do a little CVS haul really it's nothing in here I got some pirates booty <laughs> which is one of my favorite like snacks uh, 140 calories per serving um yeah it's pretty delicious i used to eat this a lot um and then this is something i only get i usually get it like once a week it's my guilty pleasure snack um so anytime i go get my nails done afterwards i go to cbs and i get this <laughs> it's a bag of funyuns okay if you know you know if you don't, you don't, but yeah, I'm about to eat this. I love Funyuns and it's my one thing that's like my little cheat meal. So yeah, I got a little bag of Funyuns. And then I got two of the NYX brow pencils in the color Espresso. And it seems I can only find these at CVS. It's what I use to draw in like my brows. And I realized today I used an eyeliner that I'm kind of allergic to because my eyes have been watering and like my vision has been blurry all day. And this just reminds me I'm going to go in my makeup drawer, take the eyeliner out and throw it away. Um, I think I told you guys before, but my eyes are like super sensitive. So I have to test out products um, without like going out. Uh, and use them like around the house just to see how I react and this eyeliner I meant to throw it out but I keep putting it back in my drawer and using it and like the last few times I've used it it's I'm allergic to it so I cannot use this <laughs> eyeliner I'm actually about to probably just take all this makeup off anyway I'm not doing nothing for the rest of the day I was gonna try and film my um like dresses my most worn dress uh, real today, but it's already dark. It's like Alexa. What time is it? It's 5 p.m. Okay, so it's 5 o'clock 
and it's y'all saw it outside it's a monsoon out there the wind is blowing like crazy um it's raining the rain is coming in sideways and it's just like uh, i came home and i'm just like it's too dark and i like to film with like natural light so it's too dark in here to film anything else for the rest of the day so what i'm gonna do is just wake up tomorrow morning and film everything um and then yeah tomorrow is gonna be a like a cleaning day so I don't know if I'm going to even finish vlogging. This is probably going to be the shortest vlog I've ever done in the history of vlogs. Um, but yeah, I probably will continue uh, vlogging tomorrow or I'll do a get unready with me tonight so that you got. In fact, you know what? We're going to do that now because it's been quite a minute that I've done a get unready with me, like taking my makeup off and showing you guys the products and stuff I use for that. So I'm gonna take off these clothes, put on one of my house dresses, and we'll do a get unready with me. I'll show you my nighttime skincare routine, and then we'll end out this very short impromptu vlog. Yeah, it be like that sometimes. I'll check back in in a moment. All right guys, we are currently in my bathroom, and I'm about to take off my makeup for the day. I'm going to take them off with these Chanel wipes. I showed these to you guys in a previous video. They have the little Chanel CC on them. Hopefully you can see that. Um, they used to be like out of stock of these on Chanel's website. They used to be $20 for $100. And now they went up, girl. It's $25. Anywho, I start by wetting this a bit. So yeah, we just wet it that, and then I literally just wipe off <laughs> all my makeup. Um, and then I'll show you what I do for like eyes and lips if I happen to have on like eye makeup, which I probably do, or mascara, or a lipstick. I'll show you the product that I use to get all of that off. But my first step is always just water you can see my makeup came off relatively relatively easy now for my eye makeup i have this sephora waterproof eye makeup remover i also use one from dior quite often as well and also one from chanel but i'm out of those so i got this during the sale and then I'll show you just how good this stuff is. I have on brows, I have on mascara, I have on a liquid liner and also eyeshadow. Just put a little bit of that on there. And this is okay to like actually get in your eye. So it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting and everything comes off super easy which I like because I already told you guys my eyes are sensitive and so I actually can't really rub them a lot or my eyelids will puff up and I'll get a sty. It's just like, girl, why is everything so sensitive? And I'm making sure I'm going through my lashes as well, very gently so that they don't come out with the mascara because that mascara is really good. I use a... Uh, they are real by benefits cosmetics and this is like a oil based makeup remover so you do have to like shake it before before use and also if i had like a lipstick on especially like the lip stain from fenty beauty i would definitely need to use this because that icon lipstick that stuff does not come off and if you try and just wipe it off it's not happening you need something to get that lipstick off and it does stain it will stain everything around you <laughs> including your fingers so yeah so now my face is semi-clean um i'm gonna go in with my dior uh la mousse off on cleanser this is super gentle barely has a smell um and i love this because it gets my skin nice and clean but it also soothes and protects my skin's hydration and barrier. So let's do this. All 
All right, that is my face cleansed after the Dior off on cleanser. Um, I feel like I want to double cleanse because I did have a good amount of makeup on. I have two other cleansers that I use on a regular basis, so we'll figure out which one we're going to use. Okay, the two other cleansers that I use at night are the Ordinary, the Glycolipid Cream Cleanser, and this just it's really good for just like hydrating your skin and then we have the daily glycolic cleanser from dermalogica this has totally transformed my skin um, i have like r big pores very textured uneven skin and since using this this has really helped with that and got my skin under control um, but i don't like to use this every day um, because sometimes it can be irritating with, with while using my other skincare products so i usually do this every other day but i feel like i need it today so we're gonna go in with this i just do a little pump and it's like a clear can you see it and we'll just get a little water there it's very light barely any scent and i really like to get like my cheeks because those are like my problem areas with mostly where i get acne or hyperpigmentation or just large pores or um unevenness and i will go down into my neck with this as well and usually i stick to the one minute rule where i'm doing everything for at least 60 seconds Okay, so let's go ahead and wash this off. Okay, so after that, I like to go in with another cotton wipe. I just wash that off just to see if there's like any makeup left and it isn't. So I don't feel the need to actually need to triple cleanse or cleanse again. So now I'm going to go in with my toner, which is the Ordinary um, Glycolic Acid 7 Toning Solution. Again, this is good for hyperpigmentation, large pores, uneven skin. Um, and those are my main issues when it comes to my skin. So you don't need a lot. This also comes in a smaller bottle, but this is so affordable. I believe it's under $10. Most of the Ordinary products are like under $12. So, and you get exactly what you need. You know exactly what's in it. I just put a little on a cotton wipe and just gently go into the skin. And this is a great combo with the glycolic wash. So it's kind of like a double dose there. Okay. I let that dry and normally I would go in with like some of my ordinary skincare products like my niacinamide which is good for um, blemishes, uneven skin texture or my hyaluronic acid which we are going to use that tonight which is good for like plumping the skin making it youthful. I have some dimpling in my chin and it's because I when I sleep I, I don't grind my teeth, but I crunch them down on each other. So my jaw is kind of locked and it creates dimples in my chin. So I use this to kind of offset that. Also for my forehead or any kind of lines and wrinkles, hyaluronic acid is great. You can get it straight from the ordinary. That's all that's in here, um, not mixed with any other products. So I love that about the ordinary and their skincare is all like clean, um, which is great. Or if I have any you know acne going on i will use the salicylic acid um i have one here but i put a patch on it and i showed you guys these products when i did my sephora haul but i use the peace out acne patches and literally i put this on like before i go to sleep and the pimple is pretty much gone in the morning these things are amazing like i stock up on them every time i go to sephora so i'll be sure to link these down below right now i don't have any active pimples Mostly I'm working on my um, hyperpigmentation from the previous pimples. But we are going to go in with a little hyaluronic acid on my chin. Just a drop. 
try not to let the medicine dropper actually touch your skin even though it's cleansed then I just go in with my hand and do circular motions get into my laugh lines and then just a tiny bit on my forehead although like I don't have any lines on my forehead like and this is probably why so last night I used the niacinamide droplets on my cheeks and I don't use that every night like I gotta give my skin a break so tonight after putting on just a little bit of hyaluronic acid and rubbing that in I'm just gonna go in with the superfood air whoop moisture cream it's just a moisturizer from youth to the people um, and this has kale spinach and also hyaluronic acid which my skin loves this stuff okay loves it um it's also clean so i've told you guys about this <laughs> before sometimes i even wear this under my makeup so i just warm it up a little bit and press it into the skin i might even do my mask tonight my led mask and that's pretty much it i showed you guys all of the products that i normally use and i will be sure to link all of them down below but this is my favorite moisturizer of all time i had to stock up on it but tonight we're just working on youthfulness plumping the skin um and evening texture with hyaluronic acid um, and glycolic acid so my ending step is just the same caudalie spray that you guys saw earlier and this is for soothing moisturizing of sensitive skin just because sometimes i can really feel these products tingling and they need to calm down so there a little moisture and that is my get unready with me nighttime routine i will link all of those things down below all right guys i guess that's it <laughs> for today i'm gonna to go ahead and end out this vlog i think in the next vlog i'm going to, going to do a haul i'm getting something in things in from my teresa from satire um i think my new year's dress is coming uh so i have a lot to show you in the next vlog and i hope this one wasn't too boring <laughs> for you all um but thank you so much for watching. Everything you've seen in today's video is definitely linked down below in the description box. I am about to go and finish watching Scandal. I'm almost done. Um, I did watch it when it first came out, but I'm like watching it again while eating my plants. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Now, 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 now,